If you see me in the streets, better holler at me Seeking for a beat, throw them dollars at me I don't like the feet, take that away from me You trying to be like me, you couldn't handle my story But we gon' let you know, we gon' let you know We gon' let you know, we gon' let you know Hey guys, thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again. Another reaction from Mr. J. And uh, I hope you guys are doing good, man. I do appreciate you always stopping by and checking out what I have to say. You feel me? Before we get started, I just want to say this, man. Uh, racism is still alive. Yeah, remember what Kanye West said in one of them songs? Racism is still alive. They just be concealing it. Man, today we are going to talk about something real shocking, which uh, every black family needs to pay attention and every black man around the world. Now, I'm not saying that every white person is racist, but when you are in a profession where your job is to save life, you cannot act otherwise. This vlog, man, we are going to talk about something interesting, man. The fan sent me a link and I read it and I thought that it's, it's worth talking about. Yeah. This vlog, we are going to talk about the mother of two black kids, man, who were left behind by white firefighters during a fire burn. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in late May, 12 year old man, Zaire Mitchell, and nine year old Lamar Mitchell, man, they died briefly after surviving the fire. In their house in Flint, Michigan. You feel me? And these two boys were they were eventually discovered. And uh, it turns out that they were intentionally left to die by these white firefighters who for some reason said they did not see these kids. It's it's real shocking to know that people are, are trained, people are hired. People choose to get into a profession and then while they are in that profession they become racist they decide to choose who to save and who to let die because of due to that skin color now man I went through this article and I went through this and thank you to the fan who came through to talk about me. I know that you are out there in Flint, Michigan. You saw love and my heart really goes out to this family. But how do you in all honesty, how do you call yourself a firefighter if you let people die? People that you were supposed to save. Now these are not even adults. These are children. And as a father myself, I was like, man, we need to talk about this. Now, the firefighters, man, they go by the name um, Daniel, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Snogoki and Michael Zlotek. These two firefighters lied. They lied that they did not see this kid during that fire outbreak out there in Flint, Michigan. Just because they did not want to help these kids. And guess what? Yes, they were black. Now we want to give a shout out to the to the city's fire chief uh, who actually determined that these white firefighters initially tasked with canvas in that room in which the children were fatally injured lied about properly searching for victims. Now I'm not going to stand here and say, oh, well, I, I would be in that shoes and then, you know, you choose now, bro. Once you are trained to become a firefighter, once they hire you as a firefighter, the ethics should be you should go inside and save. If you do not want to be part of that profession, do not even be there and start receiving payment. Worse still, and you lie about it. How are you going to lie about not seeing kids? I don't care what you tell me, kids, man. 12 year old and 9 year old they are gone their parents are going to miss them just because you out of bias you do not want to help these kids just because you out of I don't know man come on bro 
are we are we living in a world with animals? I don't get it. And how do you go to bed at night? How do you sleep at night? How did these people, these two white firefighters, how did they go to bed at night and, and you know sleep quietly? And I bet you some of them do have kids. Well, I'm gonna say this, ladies and gentlemen, black people, man, pay attention. Now, we are not going to sit here and generalize that every white person in every uh, profession out there is racist. But I will say this, man. We need to pay close attention because racists are everywhere. They are in the police force. They are doctors in hospitals, racist. They are in the shopping mall. They are politicians. They are firefighters. And they are just everywhere. Now, how do you maneuver a world where you are already living on a discount? Because black folks have to do triple what white folks do. Now, I know some white folks you also have to, to you know, to do triple. And I'm not taking that from you. But I'm just saying, how do you, in all honesty, like, look at these this guys, man. Uh, the Sergeant Daniel Snogoski and Marcus Zlotek. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the names right. And to think about the fact that these people were not even charged. All they had to do was resign, and then that is it. These parents, this mom out there in Flint, Michigan, is not able to kiss her kids. Just because you guys lied to it. Now, if you got to the to, to, to the room, to their room where the, the already had, man, just tell the truth. Because now when you lie about the whole situation, it looks bad and you start making us understand that you are really a racist. Now, my, my, I hope and I pray that, man, come on, man. I do honestly hope and I pray that these people be brought to justice. But we all know what happens when one of these races in these professions, they commit something and, you know, we all know the mafia that goes on and, you know, but I do pray that these folks should actually be held responsible. And my heart goes out to the family, man. My heart goes out to the Mitchell family and, man, may their souls rest in peace, man. I'm talking about 12-year-old Zaire Mitchell and 9-year-old Lamar Mitchell, man. You guys, man, hey. It's, it's, it's hard. I just don't mean I'm a father myself and my son is six. So I put myself in that situation like maybe I need to start doing some courses just to be ensure that this does not happen to my son. But it's killing us because this is not the first time, this is not the second time we have cases of, 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 of doctors being racist against black patients. We have cases of police being held. We had the George Floyd situation. But what has the black man actually done to the white man to hate him this much? Oh, don't get me wrong. There are some great, I mean, I know some great white folks. I'm not saying that, you know, every, no, I'm, forget that. I know some great white firefighters and great white police. You feel me? But, bro, it's, it's, it's telling. Man, that's my time. I want you to chime in, leave a comment, man. Hey, big up to you once again coming through from Flint, man. Show love, whatever you want me to talk about, hit Mr. J up. And I hope you did hit that like button, man. Share it and let's just talk about these things, man. But we do have demons amongst us, you feel me? We do have some demons that are just out there to kill black folks. I don't know why. I don't know why God lets things like this happen, but it's tough. I'm out of here. Creation, reaction, God Big up the RP family Mr. J, I see you I know some artists don't do this God bless you and your families